Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hello! Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hello! Today we are checking in from Taipei, Taiwan. <laughs> we are on the last day of our trip and we decided to do a little bit of a haul video for you guys. So it's gonna be a Kalita one. Say hi. She's so bad and we're gonna share our haul from Taiwan in the past six days. So let's get started! So we got a bit of mask in this trip. Uh, mainly from one brand. A bit? A bit. A bit. Just a bit. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah. This okay. is called a bit, okay? So we actually came home from this, Lusa. Can. I got from Dr. Morita, stocking up of my favorite mask. You guys ooh, saw my previous haul video from Taiwan. I always get this Dr. Morita's black pearl mask. Yeah. It's quite affordable, so usually they get like one for one, two nine nine. You can get this from Cosmate, you can get it from Watson's, you can get it from anywhere. Six boxes of the Dr. Morita's Black Pearl Mask. Same for me, I bought, but I only bought three boxes of the Black uh, the Black series. You can see here, uh, Mirada yesterday. What's the difference? <laughs> so basically, this is to readjust your skin rhythm. I don't know. Anti aging. <laughs> Since I'm aging. <laughs> On the anti aging note, I also got anti aging Dr. Marita's one. The Silk Fiber Anti Wrinkle Facial Mask. So I got two because I saw it's like a lot of people buy. So you got most of our items from Mirada. So previously there is a shop at Seaman thing. Yeah. But it closed down. I love that shop. Yeah. It was so big. It's so big and they have a lot of like items and sales. And it's really good to shop at. We found out there's another outlet at Fuzong. So you went there instead. Okay. Starting off with stock it up on my Heroin Make eyeliners. So I got this. This was my. These are my favorite. I really love these eyeliners. They are so waterproof. They are so awesome. I got one in black and two in brown. Stock it up. Yeah, freaking awesome eyeliners, people. If you want to try good eyeliner, check out this one. Check out this one. Can I take one more thing? It's dropping. It's not dropping. It's on my bed okay. side. I went to get this like. Uh, what's this? This one. You be a basically size like sunscreen. Uh. I needed one so I just grab it since it's on sale. It's like moisturizing. It's so, an essence? Yeah, it's an essence. You can put it as a makeup base. What brand? Oh, the, the. Mentholator. Mm. Yeah, okay. Mentholator. Me too. From the same brand, the Mentholator one, I got this. It says the E Wave at Cosme. So I'm trying it out. It is the Skin Aqua Tone Up UV Essence. It's supposed to like tone up your skin while. Giving you that 50 PA plus plus P SPF. Okay. So next I got this um, face toner. It's called Hatomogi Skin Conditioner. And basically it's for uh, if there's no smell, no colour, no fragrance, no colour, and it's for sensitive skin. And it's recommended as number one. On where? On Japan. Some Japan thing. Some Japan. <laughs> got more sunscreens and this are uh, the Bure UV sunscreen. Got the Aqua Rich Watery Gel and the Aqua Rich Watery Essence. The formula formulation is pretty nice on the skin, like a bit hydrating. The last few items I got is actually the styling serum. Since I'm always like doing my hair, like, always using my like, iron tongs, so I actually wanted to protect my hair. Trying to like at least you so you use it before you start your hair. Oh, so it's like different from my hair oil. <laughs> okay, I got facial wash, guys. Uh, this is the June Kise, a part of the <laughs> Jose branding one. Right? So I got the white prime hyaluronic acid clear washing cream as well as the hydro express hyaluronic acid washing cream. I think one is more of like a whitening kind, and one of is a bushy. The hair gem. It's basically what I use on a daily basis and it's cheap. Here it's like four eighty each as compared to in Singapore it's like nine dollars something. Oh yeah, so I got this. Okay. My last two items, I got a oil control mineral powder. This one is from MK Up, so 
I only got it like mainly because of its packaging. Ta-da! This like cute doggy on it and um it's pink and then that's all. That's all. <laughs> Got the cute dog that I buy. <laughs> oh my god, it's this Juicy Punk uh, Mousse Tin from APU. Brand for Watson's this one. And it was around like, I think, $8? $10? $10. $10. So around the same as Shopee and G Market and stuff. So yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna do the food <laughs> for food wise. We got this um, Hai Thai. Hai Thai. Hai Thai. It's like seaweed. Uh, it's like, inside there's like fried grains fried grains in between the seaweed so it's like basically crunchy, fragrant nice it, it, it's good lah basically yeah, Singaporeans will like lah um, Huang Li Shu so pineapple tarts we get to try in the store just try you know what brand I'm not very good at all these adulting stuff so just bought mm -hmm. one packet to try to be an adult cause since my family likes I didn't try it la, but looks okay la. Yeah, la. So yeah. looks star fun in hand like <laughs> uh, a new piercing over here. Two new piercings in fact, two on my what's this helix. Two on my helix. I went back to the same shop. It's called Xiu Xiu what? The Tian. Xiu Xiu the Tian ah. Xiu Xiu. What is it called? Xiu Xiu the Tian. Really? That shop <laughs> focuses on piercings, uh, all types of piercings. So I actually got my conch pierced there two years ago when we were here with her so um, and two years later I went back to get two helix done um, super love it very very simple each was you just have to pay for the accessories so I got a really small one it was 300 each so that's 600 from the same shop I also got a earring for my rope piercing over here this one was slightly more expensive um, how much was it? I think it was around fifty something dollars. Was it fifty six? Fifty six dollars for this pierce, uh, for this accessory is quite expensive, but it's really really pretty and it's you know those surgical ones, so it doesn't fuck up your ear. So through this trip, right, we didn't do much shopping for clothes because like, Taiwan is very stagnant with its choice of genre and clothing. Uh, their clothing are very similar in style, like. If you walk down the street, there are many shops that are selling similar items and it just happened that this season it isn't to our liking. Really, I only got one shirt through the entire tree. <laughs> Cause I like the bear. She's damn lame, <laughs> she likes these type of things. It's so cute. Yeah, it's like very cute. Origami animals. Yeah, That's it's really it. cute. It's from the shop Sassy. Yeah. Yes, uh, I got the paper bag for it. Uh, Sassy. I love this shop. I remember coming to Taiwan the other, like, the past few times and I always get it from Sassy. They have really pretty and affordable clothes. And I also got a shirt from Sassy. And this is a forget me not, right? Yeah. It's a little flower, has little like purple details on it and a little bit of like wording. Just very simple shirt. And also last item of clothing I got for myself is this <gasps> denim long skirt. Looks like this. I thought the cutting is so pretty. This is from Net. There's a lot of Net in um, Taiwan. So a nice quality smooth skirt. I'm very happy with this pretty. Why you can look at me? <laughs> and also from Net, I got a shoe. This is for my mom, but just showing you guys. I got a pair of white cakes. These were around seventeen dollars. Sing, very simple cakes. I think um, okay lah, just very simple cakes lor. And I also got a pair of boxers. Ji tan ge, I think tan juan ge ah. Something something ge. Tan huang ge man. Tan huang ge, tan huang ge. Ji tan ge, ji tan ge already. So this is for my sister. I want to make her wear something ridiculous and yellow at home so I can see her trotting around with her butt yellow. And the most exciting part. Yeah! Yeah! We got South of Toys! Oh, oh. catch this. Okay, we bought them. From okay, we not so zai. Yeah, from a stationery shop. Yes, so cute. See, mine is a Shiba Inu. Kidding! 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 And hers is a like monkey rat. I don't know, <laughs> it looks like a dog. And okay. a rat at the same time. And it kind of looks so a like a, it's a monkey. Wolf. It's a wolf. And a wolf. It's like a, there's a tail. So cute. And they have like really long arms. Oh shit. 
Tiana. Doesn't it look like this? I got it because it looks similar to hers. I'm gonna use this as a. It's supposed to be like a hand rest one. Excuse me, a hand rest <laughs> one for your mouse. Like so, if you when you are working, then you put your hand and then you. The next two. Cute. Who catch one? <laughs> so she caught this at one of the claw machines. Taiwan is saturated with all these claw yeah. machines. They love it. It's like everywhere, but yeah, you need me might need to take some time to find like nice toys. Mm -hmm. Some of them like just look really like it's like yeah. ten dollar for per each plate. Play, each yeah, plate. it's like around fifty cents, yeah, less, 50 than, cent, that. less yeah, than that. Yeah, slightly less than fifty cents. And on the first day, we got this. Stuff from Sun X is a little like dinosaur wheel thing. Dinosaur, yeah. dinosaur is wearing a cape. You show to a cute eye, ma. This one. The toys are basically these like yoga cat. We got it for our bestie. Cause we don't need things like that. Yeah, and and we and she like stuff. like stuff like that. What is this called? Gachapon. Gachapon. So it's basically animals like. With their hands like doing this. And there are a lot of gacha bonds in mm. Taiwan as well. Taiwan. So if you love them, you're gonna go there and you're gonna be broke. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's not like um, those that you find in Singapore. Like, it's very limited. Mm. There's a lot of variety mm. and it's more affordable. Mm. So. Yep. so next, we went to the Machiko Kitchen. Machiko Kitchen. Machiko Kitchen. So you actually bought their merchandises. Gucci! This is Gucci! We learned so much on yeah. that day. We learned that actually the baby rabbit is called Machi. The mummy. And the mom is like called Machiko. Machiko. Then the daddy is called Gucci. I don't know, there's also a brown rabbit, then we don't know which one is that. Okay, we will learn more about it. Yeah. Fans. Yes, we went there to the Machiko kitchen. So over there we ate the um things there and I'm gonna have a separate video for that, so check that out as well. And they also sell a lot of Machiko merchandisers. Actually very seasonal yeah. actually. They usually got sold out pretty quickly. This, um, this is the Machiko bowl. Bowl. Okay, la, we then practical. You don't want to buy those like useless things. Yeah. So you like. You want to get things that can cute. be used, cute and usable. Ta -da! So cute. See the Machiko over here at the front, and then after when we are eating that time, we can see the Machiko inside also. And then inside, when we reach the bottom, there's a cute ass machiko for us to see also. Go along with our machiko bowl. Bowl. We also got the spoon. Yay, we got the machiko spoon. <laughs> I got the one that is machi. And I got the one that is kuchi. Yeah. I'm sure you will want to get it. It's actually yeah. quite cheap. It's like two. It's how much? 380. 380. 380 for us. Okay, it's not very cheap. It's not very cheap, la, but, cheap la, but, but super cute. La. Look at this. Uh, we've got books! Machika books! And books which like are coloured inside. Like, what the heck? So cute and they're coloured inside. This was like a dollar plus only. Mm. This is the last Machiko item that I got. It's a flip book kind of thing. That basically has very cute prints on it. Look at it, so cute. It's a little bag. It's like a little pouch. 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 You can see it. Okay. They look like little uh, chicken stationaries. We went to... Um, quite a bit of stationery store, but the more prominent one we went to was Nanguang. the Nanguang stationery store. Three levels. Mm -hmm. Three levels of stationery. Stationeries uh, and etc. etc. Yeah, et items. Household items. Yeah, like even like sanitary pets. Mm -hmm. So you each bought like some mini cards. See? It's really cute. It's basically like birthday cards like, and thank you cards. And I got the uh, happy birthday ones mainly because it's nice to just throw in a card when it's people's birthday. So I got three. Two of them are like Machiko ones. Machiko birthday card. And one of them is this like Shiba Inu one. Yeah. Um, these are all of like just doggy ones. La. They're really cute and they are like I think a dollar plus. A little bit expensive I think because there's not a lot for per pack. But still very cute. And I also got stickers. Super cute. One of them is the Machiko one and one of them is the Shiba Inu one. Those are for me. And the other two for my colleagues. They can tell that I really like Machiko and the Shiba Inu one. That's, that's all I want to get for this trip. I also got some stickers. Like these are like little penguins. Penguins. So cute. I got it for my sister actually. Since she like, like penguins. And then we 
got like magical um, luggage tag stickers and yeah, those are really cute too we shared them, we split them up I just saw it these are like everywhere in Taiwan um, they are the water bottle holders so I got two one of it is this pink one and the other one is a red one in use yeah, in use we use it through the Taiwan trip very useful you can just hold it like a, like a little bag yeah, four of these books, mainly as gifts. They are the um, I don't know what they call it. What I'm most excited about is like I got my next year scheduler. I was super planning person, so I'm super happy to have found this. And when we were flipping, we realized that all of the pictures, yeah. for every fucking page, is different. For every freaking month is like seasonal. Yeah. You know, like, if it's near Halloween, you can have like a doggy with a ghost, like a white cape thing. So we actually got like calendars for our friends also, like our besties. It's like 2020 year uh, like, calendar. It's really cute, so you just bought it. Okay, so I also got some like of the Sumiko stuff. So basically, there's a notebook. Can we see? Notebook, uh, pencil. And basically a handheld, a handheld mirror is a flip book lah basically. They sell a lot of Sumiko things. Yeah, like nice cute papers. Yeah. I, uh, oh yeah, and then there are like small stickers, like doggy stickers. Eh, hey, which one do you buy doggy stickers or real can't It's not, it's not as cute as yours. That's what I guess. Yeah, about done with our haul, but of course we're not gonna end it without our shoe purchase. We got shoes. From ABC Mart because Taiwan you have to go to ABC Mart. Yeah. So we got shoes. Ah! Oop! Ta da! Some super trendy stuff. Yeah. It's only 150. It's not exactly cheap. But then for the design, I think it's worth it. Lah. Very cute socks. Super. Yeah. Trendy socks. We got the shoe. It's Fila again. Yeah, we're all for Fila this time yeah. around. It happens that their designs attract us. No, and the like, price yeah, yeah, point attracted us. The shoe I got. So nice! So pretty. This type of shoe is so trendy. Yeah, it's kind of like the shoes that are trending now. But it's not like the dis destructor, which everybody is wearing. I kind of like it. It's a bit old school vibe. Looks a bit like a school shoe, actually. Actually, got one shoe. Yeah, got I one. got two, and they're also from Fila. So, um, first one, it's an empty box because I yesterday wear them. So go and grab them for me. I basically got two of kind of like a similar thing with different colors. They were on sales. These were around sixty dollar each, and my style slightly different from hers. So. This are what I got. Well, these are the um, totally white color ones. Mm. They just have like the more edgier sides. In the front, the back also super cute with just the fila. So basically, these two shoes are like the same series. La. Yes. Just different colors. This one is like the off-white version. Mm. To go with like maybe when I'm wearing dresses yes. and skirts. This one is girlier. The back is kind of like a greyish color instead. And exactly same cutting. So this concludes our Taiwan haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. We got quite a variety of items here and there. Everything will be linked below. Um, Taiwan has been really kind to us this trip. It wasn't too sunny. Uh, yeah, weather too was sunny. okay. It rained a little. The quite rainy, rainy season. Rainy season ish. So overall, if you have a raincoat, it's pretty fine. We ate a lot. I feel like we didn't get a lot of things. We mainly have things that went in and out <laughs> <laughs> like catch my video on like what to eat in Taiwan I ate quite a bit of food and if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up <laughs> and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next video bye going back to Singapore bye now to pack all these things